Can I talk to the captain, please? I can put you through to his voicemail. I don't want to talk to his voicemail. I've been calling him for three months, four months, since March. And every day he goes, I connect him. I'll connect you to his voicemail. Do you, you know what that's called? When every day I call and he never returns my call, what do you call that? Can you tell me? Uh, sir, he's not in the office right now. I've been leaving him messages since March, every day, and he doesn't call me back, and I say call me back. Do you know what that's called, sir? He's not in the office right now. Do you, know, do you know what that's called? Do you know what that's called, sir, when I call him every day since March 6th and he doesn't call back? Do you know what that's called, sir? No, I'm not aware. Do you want me to tell you what it's called? I would love that. It's called discrimination, harassment, defamation of can, um, character, slander, um, and mental and financial anguish, to name the top few. Do you understand what that means? I have a vague idea. How many millions do you think I'm going to win in your F estimate? Uh, that, I have no clue. I'd have to talk to a lawyer to see what the uh, going rate for that is. Oh, okay, well, at least you admit that you're going to have to talk to a lawyer. And then um, the other thing is, um, what do you think of God down here in our modern day with blatant scientific evidence? Are you happy, rappy, clappy, and snappy? I have no opinion on religion. Uh, you can put you through to the captain's voicemail, or you can try calling back later in the afternoon. I, I hate religion, too. Religion gives the followers permission to sin. I'm, talk I'm talking, to I'm talking about God. Back later this afternoon. Well, that's what you said every day. They never, he never calls back. Connect me to it. I'll leave one more message for him. Your call has been answered by a via IP office. Extension 202 is not available. To leave a message, wait for the tone. When finished recording, press pound for more options. Record at the tone. Yeah, Captain, whatever your name is, um, this is Chaplain Peter Palpin. I've been calling you basically weekly since um, March 6th. And... Um, you never return my phone call, and I ask you to leave, call me, and I say if you're not going to call me, send um, my brother's stuff so I don't have to come all the way there out of my way, but make sure this tracking number so I know you're not a liar, liar, hearts on fire, talking on the telephone wire, insanely jealous because the one only sire channels through me with blatant scientific evidence like no time in the history and her story of this godforsaken planet. So anyway, I'm calling you back again for the Godzillion's time, leaving you the shine and rhyme in real time. 603-892-7109, 603-892-7109. I do not have their number. Um, let me transfer you to Michelle, hold on. Oh, you're coming here now? Yeah, Okay. I'm right now. All right, thanks, bye. Finance director for the town of Randolph, come on. At the tone, please leave me a message and your phone number, and I will return your call when I am able to. Please repeat your phone number clearly. Thanks for your patience, and have a great day. Yeah, this is Chaplain Peter Palpin. We spoke yesterday briefly. I'm, I told you I'm going to call you back, so I'm calling you back. So call me 603-892-7109 so we could take care of this. This is on Wednesday, June 10th. So I'm keeping a paper trail of this, so I record it. So, you know, you have to get back to me so I can take care of this. I could give you my debit card over the phone. Thank you. Dispatcher Yeah, is um, the captain in for the 500 uh, he's, minutes? Uh, he's gone for the evening. He was gone from the morning, too, and gone for the lunch, right? He wasn't, there, he wasn't there all day because I called all day and he was never there, right? I called in the afternoon. I called in the afternoon, so it's more millions of dollars. It's harassment and discrimination. So we'll see what he does tomorrow. And you know, once the light uses divine intervention, that's when he'll call me. You understand that, right? Okay. 
Do you agree or disagree? I'm not really sure how the divine inter intervention thing would work, but... Well, have you watched every movie since 2006? You see all those actors getting real-time cancers under their eyes in real time, only possible by the one only divine, the one only divine, the one only mean possible shine. Those real-time shiners that you see turning on and off like a light switch. That's from the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one only way. That's the corona of the G victory virus under people's eyes that you disguise and you despise because you hate, because you know it's from the one only number one first rate without debate. The one and only God Almighty. Would you A, agree or B, disagree? Hey, how do I walk from here, from where you are, to my car parked a mile away, blindfolded and blindfolded and blindfolded? Can you tell me from my documentary, my documentary? How do I do that, me, that cat in the hat? Can you tell me, PD Sweden? How you pretty sure the captain's voicemail? How come you ignore the one and only forevermore? Who? Who? Poor. Who am I poor? Sure the captain's voicemail? Hmm. How come you ignore every question I ask you? Can, did your parents teach you to... Disrespect, oh, it's because I'm younger than you, so that's why you do that, because I'm just a child, right? So you don't respect children. I understand that, Mr. Man. Okay, Mr. Man, check, connect me to the captain. The captain? Your call has been answered by a via IP office. Extension 2. Oh, two. It's not available. To leave a message, wait for the tone. When finished recording, press pound for more options. Record at the tone. Just captain, this is Peter Palpin calling for the gazillion time. I call in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening, and no matter when I call, you're not there. But then they tell me you were there, but not, but you're not there when I call. And so uh, it's a blatant, obvious discrimination and harassment. And so I'd like a call from you, and also I'd like to hear from you. And uh, I'd like you to call me, 603-892-7109. 603-892-7109, anytime is fine, day or night. And so it's interesting and interesting how you told me you gave the key, you didn't know where the keys were, and then the people I got the keys from say that I got them from the pro lice, the pro not nice. And then, um, you know, I've been telling you for weeks and weeks and weeks since March 6th, can you send me the keys, Lord Child, please? And so um, we're following the story of more than any human impossible glory. And so it's interesting and interesting how people um, treat me. Ping, 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 ping. How come people treat me ping, 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 ping? So ugly, smugly, and fugly. Why do you discriminate against me and hate me so much? That's what I'd like to know when we talk, why you would do this to me when you know it's against the law on your end, not on my end. I'm just asking you to give me something, and you refuse. You refuse to give me my keys, you pretend you don't know where they were, and you refuse to get me, give me my brother's wallet and credit cards and all that stuff. So we'll continue on your end, and love can you on our end. You're not the um, name listed on the card, it's your brother, so the bank needs a death certificate to prove that, you know, uh, he's no longer living. In oh, so in, other, so in other words, the, me, calling the bank and telling them who I am and all that um, in, in the, my, my brother went to heaven yeah. um, on March. So that, that's not enough evidence for them to shut the card off, right? They need to No, need unfortunately it. not. That, that goes for any, you know. Uh, and you'll say this on 60 Minutes and Oprah Winfrey in 2020, right? I'm sorry? And you'll be proud when you say this on 60 Minutes in 2020 in Oprah Winfrey, right? I'm, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm, I'm trying You'll be to proud what you're saying. You're going to back this up. I'm recording you. You don't mind. I'm going to make this yeah, into no, a movie. That's fine. Yeah, this is a recorded line anyway, so this whole thing's being recorded on this okay, end. Okay, so. so great. In other uh, words, so, I'm, well, the bank thought different than you because guess what, buddy? Guess what the bank did, buddy? What did the bank do, buddy? They shut off the fucking card, buddy. Guess why? Okay. Because it was blatant scientific why. evidence that obviously that I am who I am in, in um, <clears throat> obviously, who would make up a heinous, disgusting lie like that? It, you know, what, what sense would it make? So in other words, this is why people hate P-O-L-I-C-E. P-O-P-O-L-I-C-E. -L -I -C -E, because you're all criminal. Do you get it? And so let me talk to a detective. Let me talk to a detective, buddy. And I recorded this, and, you know, you're going to go down. You know, it, it's so disgustingness, 
disgustingness like no one has ever comprehended in the history of pro-life's work. All right, listen, if you're going to swear at me and demand whatever... What did I swear? I'm terminate the phone call. Whenever you okay, well, when you... Phone, all right, when you... Went, you by terminating back. the phone call, that proves what? I know, but it makes it easier. Cause I'm, anyway, Our executor spoke to a, uh, a P-O-L-I-C -E there. Um, police officer? Uh, P O Po L I C E, a police, yeah. And um, and anyway, um, I called because I wanted to get a detective because um, my I, I was out of the country, and um, my brother went to heaven, and I had to take care oh, of it, everything from out of town, and um, there was a guy who who found my brother who owed my brother a lot of money, and um. There's tons of witnesses, people who were around him, and he had my brother's wallet and had my brother's cell phone, and he wanted to like hold it, and they thought it was weird. Anyway, I just called the bank, my brother's bank, because my brother owes taxes, and I wanted to pay the taxes with his money. I don't know how that works. Honestly, I don't know. You should check. I don't. Why, I don't know if you'd be responsible for the taxes if you passed away. No, because I own the house now, so. I, oh, he gave you the house. Yeah. Yeah, then you'd have to probably pay the taxes then. Huh? No, so, yeah, so, anyway, so I called this bank because I had my friend pick up the um, wallet at the uh, police station in Chapachet, and um, all the credit cards were there that were expired, and the one that isn't expired wasn't there. So then when I called the bank and told them everything, they said, um, someone's been using the card since March 6th, so that means someone stole the card because my brother went to heaven on March 6th, you get it? Yeah, because the police took it from my the house. What police department? Chapachet. Police? Chapachet. There isn't Chapachet. It would be Situate. Was it Situate Police Department? No, no, it's, it's um, police? no, Chapachet, it's a, it's a, it begins with a G, Gloucester. Oh, in Gloucester. Okay, then you need to contact Gloucester. Police I did, but they don't have detectives there. They told me you guys have the detectives. They have detectives. Of course they do. Did they handle the case of your brother's death? Well, kind of. Who handled it and investigated it? Well, they didn't really investigate. I mean, the, they just. Or they, they did the police report? Then it's probably with property. Did you call and ask for somebody in property? No, I got. No, the, the, someone's been using the credit card since then. And the bank wouldn't okay. give me any information. They said I have to. In, did you cancel the credit card or do you have to show his death certificate? You might have to show the bank his death yeah, but I told them everything, and I said, does it sound like an emergency? So I'm asking you, because I'm doing this documentary on it. Do you think that sounds like uh, an emergency? If I had called you and told you what I just said, and you were the bank, would you... No, it's, it's not an emergency. It's like, not... Contact and try to it's it's not an emergency, then, right? In other words, my brother went to heaven December 6th, no, I mean, and someone's been using the card, like and someone's been like using the card this whole time, and you said it's not an emergency. Would you a, agree with... You said, but it's not an emergency, right? Oh, I mean, maybe to you it might feel like it is, because it's, ser it's serious. So to who isn't it an emergency? But in other words, to you it's not an emergency, because you said it's not an emergency, right? So in other words, I shouldn't bother. Well, it should be investigated, but it's but, not. But, it should, but the card shouldn't be turned off, because it's not uh, for sure that yeah, someone has the card. Yeah, definitely. They should be frozen. The bank should put them on hold or freeze them. But you just said it's not an emergency. Okay, well, that's different than an investigation. Well, how is that different? Sir, in other words, know. define an emergency. In other words, if that's what not an emergency, then what is it? I mean, everyone has a different opinion. To me, an emergency would be, you know, a car rolls o flips over and people are ejected and are, you know, on the highway and need medical attention. But what if they're God Almighty haters? Sorry, I don't understand why. What, what if those people are God Almighty? What if those people are God Almighty? What if those people pretend a man named Jesus is God? What if that? Okay, well, this has nothing to do with religion. Okay. No, it has everything to do with the reason. It's not the skin that God jumps in with scientific evidence all the way from heaven. So God is here to reveal the reason. It's all the God wants to give you permission to sin. Well, we got you on the front. We got you discriminating. This is Peter
I'm not sure. I don't know the specific details. The like specific is that my brother went to heaven on, on March 6th and someone's been using the card and you don't think that's fraud, right? In your police opinion, you don't think that's fraud, right? Now you know why I don't want to hire police because they're fucking morons. In other words, it's obvious it's fraud and you can't even figure that fucking out. So how fucking intelligent are you? So let me ask you, do they have to so graduate? I'm trying to, I'm trying to help, I'm trying to help do you they, You're not trying to help me out. You try to harass me like always. No, do, I'm not trying to do, harass you. I'm trying to help you out. I, do, I'm trying, does, uh, do, you want to do, do, speak with somebody to help you out with the fraud? Do, you have co do they have to have college degrees to be a police? Yes, we do require police officers in our department to have college degrees. Okay. All right, well, have one that graduated at Harvard or Yale call me, okay? Uh, we don't have anybody that's uh, the Ivy League level, uh, so if, uh, if you want, I can have somebody else. So you see that? Call. Do you see that's what part of the problem, the police problem? Why, why if, if, if someone went to Harvard or Yale, do you think they would, um, you know, be uh, harassing dark tan human beings because of the color of their skin? Think someone with a degree of Harvard or Yale would do that? I, I don't. I've never seen anybody in our department harass or uh, treat anybody any differently based on this. Really, really? Color. really? Think, well, you didn't do it because of my, my skin my color. Specific, my you did it because I'm the skin that God jumps in. So that's why you discriminate against me. My experience here with the police that often that work in our department treat everybody the same. Really? Then how come? Then, all right. Then how come the? How come your police department gave the keys to someone who lives down the street from my brother? And when I call your police department up, they go, they don't know where the keys are. So what do you call that? I have no idea. Is I that called no fraud? Idea. I have no knowledge. I have no knowledge of the specific. All right. So problem. now study that. Now so, put, have your detectives okay. find out about that fraud. Tate. So you're gonna have to do, investigate your own case. So I'm calling about two things. Number one, I investigate fraud in your own department because they told me they didn't know where the keys are. And number two, someone stole my brother's credit card, obviously. So let's see how long it takes you guys to get on this. It's an emergency. State the date, please. June 11th. State the time, 1219. So let's see how long it takes your detectives to call back on this emergency, all right? 603-89. What's the phone number that we can call you back on? 603-892-7109. 603-892-7109. You're saying you're the president of the bank. You're the president of the bank, and you won't even give the information to the FBI. And you know that someone stole his credit card, and you're saying you don't think the FBI would want to get involved in this case. And so who would want to get involved in this case? Do you think this is an emergency? Let me take it one thing at a time. Do you think this is an emergency? In other words, my brother went to heaven on March 6th and someone's been using the car. Is that an emergency? A yes or B no? So we have to my, my brother went to heaven on March 6th and someone's been using his car. Is that an emergency? A yes or B no? Absolutely it is. Okay, exactly. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is so, do you, the, you said the FBI shouldn't want to get involved in this, right? I don't know what their job is. If I ask you, if the FBI goes there, are you going to give them information? Yes or no? That is not what we do in the branch. There's a particular area that they contact, and it is not the branch. Let me ask you, are you going to contact the police? That is not my job. I contact back office. You contact what office? Our fraud division. Is your fraud division police? Is our fraud division what? Police. I, I, I can't understand you. Is your fraud division PO? PO is PO Lice, L I C E. Is your fraud division PO Lice? I don't know what that is. P -O, spell PO. What's that spell? Sp say what PO is like when you're in first grade. PO, what's that? Sound it out. PO, what's that? I don't know. Po. So, po. P O is P O. L I C E. What's L I C E spell? Lice. Po lice. Do you have a po lice? Do you have any po lice at the, in your fraud department? I don't know what that is. So po, P O. Po. How about do you know this? 
Do you know that God is down here like never before to settle the one only God Almighty score on his humanly impossible blatant scientific evidence tour to let everybody know you don't get away with murder, rape, arson, or any other sin or being part of a uh, conspiracy against me, PD Sweetie, and withhold valuable information because uh, obviously the um, someone stole my brother's credit card and you're pretending that it's not an emergency and you're not giving what me is information. Your first name? Peter Palpin. Peter? Yes, Peter, P E T E R, Palpin, P A L P A L P A L. You can um, contact us, okay? I want to know what you're going to do about this now that you know that it was stolen. What are you going to do? I'm going to we put a temp on the card so it cannot be used, and then I'm going to contact the fraud area. And what's the fraud they area? Talk to you. And what's the fraud area you going to do? It. And how they are they going to investigate? It. What are they going to do? I don't know. That's not part of my job. But when you get your appointment, you can come in and see us, okay? You have a very good day. Can, let me ask you something. Hung up, Carl. Statement saying what's going on, okay, um, and how you found out about all this. Uh, have you spoke to the bank at all about, did you, did you? I told you I talked to the bank. That's how I found out about it. Right. But that, does, he, does he have money in the bank or anything like that? Or? Yeah, but they won't tell me how much. That's how the guy's been using, he's been spending money. I don't know how much. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll, uh, I'll check with the CVS. But, but, the, uh, but, you, but you said you never heard of Peter Palpin the night of the light before this conversation. And you never heard that God is channeling through a human being like no time in the history of the world with blatant scientific evidence, but also not through me. Have you noticed when you're watching TV and movies, people getting real-time black bags under their eyes and you see them getting them on and off like a light switch right in front of your eyes? Have you noticed that? Those are real-time cancers. Those are real-time corona G victory viruses. In other words, you see tissue in real-time turn into a cancerous state, or you hit, see it go back the other way into a non-cancerous state. So that's what the light God is doing not through me with blatant scientific evidence. So now that I'm telling you this, you must be like the most excited and happy you ever were to find out there really is a God. But obviously you wouldn't believe it because it's too good and too God to be true that God would come down here in our modern day with blatant scientific evidence to let us know all about heaven and where we go and why we go. I, I definitely believe in God. No, but believing is thinking, clinking, and thinking. If it's one of the God frauds, like the Jesus man God fraud, or the Allah man God fraud, or the Buddha man God fraud, all those immoral God frauds that have zero scientific evidence, and they all give permission to sin. In other words, they're all in the forgiveness business. So obviously, and they all say God loves all his children the same from whence we came. You ever hear that lie in the libel Bible? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, if that were true, wouldn't every guy on Michael Jordan's Lifetime game? If everyone, yeah, right? I'm gonna, I, I gotta, I gotta get going on this. I'm gonna go over. Okay, I'm gonna send you my email address. I'm gonna send you my email address. Okay, and I you're a police officer investigating a crime, someone's stealing, and so the first place to get evidence obviously would be the bank. And hello, hung up, corrupt. See, the cops are involved. You see, Coinkin Inkley, the phone went off right when he. Because he was saying that um, he couldn't get that information from the bank. Are you starting to get the picture here? In other words, ladies and gentlemen, I was just talking to him a minute ago, and it's just coinky dinky. He, in other words, he said he had to send me an email, so he, he was obviously going to send the email before he left to talk to Citizens Bank. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what does this prove? In, in, in other words, it's the police, the police, the police not nice are involved in coercion. In other words, in there. Would you like me to put you through to his voicemail? It's got conspiracy. What, what's his name? Uh, Patrolman Hebert. Patrolman Hebert, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Would you like me to put you through to his voicemail? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I'll put you through to his voicemail. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. is not available. To leave a message, wait for the tone. When finished recording, press pound for more options. Record at the tone. Yes, David Hebert, uh, this is Chaplain Peter Palp, and we were speaking a minute ago, and it's just coinkly all of a sudden, in that one minute when you were supposed to email me, and I haven't received the email yet, the um, person who answered the phone, person, not person, said that you already left to go investigate at Citizens Bank exclamation on Sid, id and Sid's uh, sin. In other words, the id and Sid and sin and sin, citizens bank. 
pulling this prank. And so, um, I'm not pulling rank. Um, I just, um, and well, I hope I'm not ranking you off, but um, when I was speaking with you, you all of a sudden hung up, corrupt in my opinion, when I said, well, you could go to the bank and you're a police, a po not nice, or are you a po nice? Are you an FBI investigator, a detective that loves the love, the light, the love, the bright, and the one only way here in our modern day? And so um, you're going to go ask the common sense questions. Can you see what was bought, how much money is in the bank, um, where they were when they bought whatever they bought on my brother's credit card after March 6th? And if they don't give you that information because you told me they wouldn't give it to you, that's withholding information, that's withholding evidence. And then we could sue the fuck out of Citizens Bank as well because they can't withhold that evidence as far as my attorney, not named Ernie and Bernie, opinion. Um, it's common legal sense. And so they have to give that information. And since you're working for me, you have to give me that information. And if you hold that, withhold that from me, you're withholding information to cause me mental and financial anguish. And so, because I have to give the information to uh, the probate people. So please get me all that information. Thank you. I was talking to Officer Hebert, and he told me he was going to send me an email to it so I could write the facts. And then you called me back and said he wants me to send the facts because he wants to harass me and cause me mental and financial anguish to go look for uh, uh, a fax machine. Am I, is that the picture, the story? Uh, yes. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen of the jury, how many millions are we going to win from this police department? And so what's your response when I tell you I don't have a fax machine? And so, when he, so he was lying to me when he told me he was going to send me a, um, when he said he was going to send me an email, Your Honor, right? Uh, that I have no idea. I can't speak for him. Uh, well, I'm asking the judge in this case and the jury. You know, it's What's a, that? I'm asking the judge and jury. In other words, it's, it's common sense. I'm telling you, and I'm going to take lie detector tests to prove that I'm telling you the truth. And I recorded him telling me. So who's going to win this case? in your humble opinion? I couldn't begin to guess. And plus, God's using divine intervention, so when we deal with liars, you know what divine intervention is? I don't fail to mention. I have no opinion on religion. Either does God. God is here to get rid of religion. Religion gives you followers permission to sin. The real God isn't in the forgiveness business. It's in the reap what you sow business. So if you're blind, it's because you were unkind in your last lifetime. You took someone's eyes out to make them shot and pout. If you agree or disagree with it, that's 100% moral. Nobody can quarrel with that. Hung up, quarrel. up. That, that day we went to the pier and I got up on the, the railing. You thought it was stupid, right? You, <laughs> I can see now you still do. Yeah, really dumb. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fall and break my neck. What's the point, right? You see, you don't understand. Being up there is the point. They're willing to risk everything to get it. What would you risk everything for? Is there anything that means that much to you? Hmm? <laughs> You're gonna listen to this later, aren't you? I hope you do. Save this one. This was a good one. 